Hey guys, this is Jordy from ML Strength. Today we have a special guest, Dr. Kyle Innes from New York Chiropractic Health Performance Center here in Harrison in New York. Uh, welcome to our, to our show. Can you tell everyone a little bit about your background and, and how you got into this? Sure. Um, well, I was a long time athlete, you know, I'd always kind of fallen into chiropractic, being, uh, having some injuries on the football field and whatnot, and, you know, going, going to the chiropractor really benefited me as far as getting back on the field and increasing my performance and, and really kind of increasing above and beyond what I was expecting, so. Good. And tell, tell us a little bit about your practice. Sure. Um, well, we're down in Harrison, and, um, I like to work a little bit more with athletes, you know, anybody else, of course, is welcome, but, um. The athletes I find respond very good to chiropractic and, you know, with pain and, and working on alignment and stuff like that, you know, once you decrease that pain and increase the alignment, you kind of find some better results as far as getting back out on the field and, um, you know, you find some things that you never knew you had when you, when you really dig down deep in there, so. Good. Yeah. Talk a little bit about, um, Kyle, the importance of chiropractic with, with athletics. Okay. Um, one of our important principles, of course, is alignment. Um, that's what we work on is, is check the spine for any spinal subluxations or any joint restrictions that you may have. Um, with these joint restrictions, you know, we kind of go in there and just palpate and see if they're moving right. And if sometimes it causes some pain, you know, we, we'll go in there and do a, it's called a high velocity, low amplitude adjustment, which basically frees up the restriction in that area. And it does increase the neural tone to the muscles that it actually talks to, so with that increased neural tone, you get better muscle coordination and better muscle strength. Great. And talk about uh, any uh, clients you've had, any patients, okay. maybe some success stories, how they came sure. in in one shape and how you got them sure. to uh, um, Well, some football players that we have come in, um, even some baseball players that have anterior shoulder, um, you know, we'll go in there and kind of align that, and this way it gives them a better coordination from transferring their energy from their feet out through their hands so they can throw the ball. You know, they, like I said, they get a lot better coordination through that once, they're, once their alignment is, is proper. Great. So. And talk about the football players. Any sort of success <laughs> stories in their, sure. you know, in their performance? Sure. Uh, football players obviously have uh, bumps and bruises quite frequently, so we do a little bit more soft tissue and stuff like that on them, and, uh, you know, we work regularly with them to, to increase their performance. Um, you know, a lot of the football players, will, they'll decrease their, their, their sprinting time, their 40 time, you know, just by getting rid of some of that pain and increasing, um, like I said, their muscle coordination as far as getting out there and, um, and working on those, that performance. Cool. And what can an athlete do at home to maybe test him or herself to determine if, hey, maybe I need to go see a professional? What, what, any, t any simple things that sure. you can do to evaluate? Um, basic range of motion stuff, you know, reach down, touch your toes, if you have any tweaks or any, um, notice that you can't go as much to one side or the other when you go to rotation, left or right, you know, sometimes you'll notice a little pain or a twinge in your back or, or someplace else, and we can go in there and kind of evaluate that and see how everything's moving, and proper movement is what really increases your training, so. Cool. Kyle, thank you very much. Thank you very this much. was really helpful. I think you gave some great advice that people will really appreciate. Thanks, thanks, for, thanks for stopping by.